Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today we're going to be talking about Lana. Uh, if you didn't know, there is a modifier here for Madness Corruption that says Random Combats, and with that, uh, in each Random Combat, a Champion Monster appears with a randomly assigned immunity. Now, all these random monsters have names based on what type of character they are. You can see in this combat, the preview, it shows three monsters and the little uh, vitality symbol says that this is the champion. That champion is the Naga Siren. That's the rabbit, etc., etc. the Lancer. Those, each of those have their own names. Today, we're going to be talking about Lana. As you can see, the Lana is here. The Lana is here. The Lana is here. And uh, <laughs> if I want to avoid Lana, I have to go this top route. But uh, we're going to intentionally go fight Lana and uh, see what she is all about. Now, if you don't know these monsters, by we are not taking the Corruptor because Lana. If uh, if you don't already know these monsters by name, uh, you will eventually start to get to know them as you play the higher difficulties and play random combats. And uh, some of them are more game enders than others. It really depends on your team comp. Lana is a game, uh, a run ender for any sort of magical team. As you can see, I am running a caster DPS and a bunch of caster supports. So this team is very susceptible to Lana. In this team comp, ideally I should be killing Lana turn one, but uh, we will let her live and just kind of see how it goes so we can look at our cards. Doing my, my normal little things here, but we will pull some punches and let the the Siren Champion survive. Well, this is not the Siren, this is the, the Mystic? The Mystic. The Naga Mystic, I think is what she's called. I don't know. There's a, uh, there's um. Ariel is the Siren, and Lana is the Mystic or Elementalist, whatever she's called here. Alright, so normally I would enchant weapons Wilbur with plus lightning, but uh, this guy is immune to spark because seahorses are immune to spark. And I have the trident that says, hey, apply wet, so I can't go to fire. So even though these guys are weaker to fire, and that's probably the better one to do, like, I could just do fire, but I, I wouldn't get any sort of resist stacking debuff. So, uh, we'll just do the frost weapon. And these turns don't matter too much, other than to say that, hey, I can do my normal things. Yes, I could kill things, but I will choose not to. Uh, who doesn't have max vulnerable? There's some max vulnerable. A little bit of bless and bless uh this team comp i am fighting a seahorse and i do am running the water base so yes that's adding a little bit the difficulty of this fight but most of the difficulty is going to be with the champion so ideally this guy's immune to spark so i should be hitting everyone else but in my little uh free run here i think the best viewing experience is if i like i could blast i could blast this this slime out of existence but i think it's best if i show you it this way. Oh man, I'm trying to kill a seahorse. Seahorses are bad and dangerous, right? Man, seahorses, I hear those are dangerous. I should kill that first. Whoops, I forgot there's... Sorry, sneeze. Um, there's a, uh... Nice champion, she's not a big... Oh, oh, what's she doing here? Hmm. So, her first two cards, so... With, kind of like bosses, champions, uh, a lot of them will have a... A coded or scripted, uh order they do the cards or certain cards will be done on turn one or turn two uh lana we're actually going to be looking for her two turn two being the dangerous i'm pretty sure these are the guaranteed turn ones uh at least i see these pretty often if not one of these will be cast on turn two with the the dangerous spell but uh she applies a lot of debuffs and she applies a lot of buffer and uh insulate to her team it's the insulate that really sucks for the casters right so combine this insulate and this buffer with her turn two which uh I will show you just in a second. We're going to be struggling to survive. And not to mention, pair her with something like a seahorse. Man, look at this. The seahorse. Shock Nova slows down my whole team. Enemy turn gets two turns. I got the seahorse so low. It would be so great to kill it. But look, it's at nine mitigate all of a sudden. Half of that coming from the champion. Oh, wait. What did... Wait, what's this? What What she just cast? Sorry. As I pretend to be like, look, I can't cast rain. What, what's wrong with this? Oh, um, mass counter spell. Yeah. So remember, uh, this says only one silence stack 
but since I am on a overcharged monsters with random combats, it, uh, two rounds of silence. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So let's, uh, try to get out of this. Give Maluka some, uh, I need some, I need some insulate. Wilbur's dying. I, I should be fine. I should be fine. Let's just do some book stuff because book stuff is fun. All right. Luca, you just need to draw a dispel, right? Oh, you drew a dispel. Right. I can remove this. Si oh, wait. I can't remove the silence. Because if you remember, the thing that makes this super deadly is this silence is applied the turn after she does elemental wave. And elemental wave, it by itself puts three debuffs on your team. So to dispel this silence, you have to dispel all, or you have to dispel twice, or have like a mass dispel that has like a dispel four or five on it. Because if you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deep is how deep the silence is. Even dispelling twice, I'm not going to be able to get the... This is weird, because I'm not going to be able to get that. I think I dispel the, the slow with Magnus later. Like, it's really hard to dig down to get the silence. And the only thing I can cast, whoops, I did those in the wrong order, was the... Uh, her, her passive in the thing. Everyone else, my DPS, he's stuck here doing nothing because uh, I have no, I have nothing to do. Look, I can cast, I can cast some of these cards. I can't cast spells. The seahorse that's at like zero. Nada. So you have to suffer if you don't kill. So with the Lana, the idea is you need to kill Lana first. And if you can't kill Lana first, you at least have to kill some of her companions before you go into the silent zone. Because once you're in the silent zone, like what am I supposed to do? I, I can't do I can't do diddly. lately. I'm trying to debuff this the seahorse to get more vulnerable on him. He's still got buffer stacks. He's got mitigate. We're all silenced. It's got insulate. It's just the world has ended. She continues to cast powerful spells while my entire team is silenced. So your healer's not gonna do any healing. Your DPS is gonna do no damage. The enemy is just gonna wail and wail and wail on you. Hey look, hey look guys. I, oh, she didn't even draw the dispel. Last time I did this, I was able to draw the dispel. Crap, I'm gonna die. It's gonna show a debuff in front of my screen. Ah, I can't show you the cards. <laughs> Last time I was able to do it. But the idea is, turn uh, turn one, really defends her team, really debuffs you. Turn two, silences your entire team for two turns. Not one turn, but two turns. Because uh, if you've got... Yes, I would like to re... I'd like to click on this madness, please. Thank you. Because this overcharged monsters plus Lana just makes her super deadly to a caster team. So the idea is I have to kill her first or at the very least kill off some of her companions. And uh, yeah, what do we need to talk about other than this? Uh, let's see. So with some dispels, the idea is yes, the answer to the silence is to dispel. Well, even if you saw it took like two dispels to get down to it, like I, I didn't even get to get to the second dispel. But that is if I dispelled that slow and then dispel the dispel magic twice, I would have been able to dispel one of my teammates, ideally my my DPS to kill off one of them or my healer to heal the team back up and kind of live through the silence as it is. I think she casts the silence every three turns. So you only have one turn of glory between every two turns of silence. Uh, but not all silences are created. All dispels are created equal because if you look at here with cards, some of your dispels are spells themselves. So Gustav, when he's like trying to sweet melody or healing serenade this uh, this silence off of himself, he can't because he's silenced. He can't cast sweet melody. <laughs> like that's a super dangerous route when you're going with bard bard dispels. Uh, you also run into that problem with Panicia for any sort of healing spell players like Malukas or Reginalds. I'll often recommend Panicia with the caveat of you have to be careful of Lana because you will be susceptible to being silenced and you cannot dispel your own silence with Panicia. The only dispels that go through are going to be Dispel Magic and Mass Dispel. Uh, another way to kind of combat her is going to be with Buffer. Uh, when you're running Otis, I think one of the best ways to fight Alana is to do a protect from evil on, it has to be 
between her turn one and her turn two, which in this in this team, I couldn't have done that. Because the problem is the seahorse slowed me down and they got Lana got two turns in a row. But the idea is let me uh give her a turn here. The idea is I only have a very small window to put buffer on my team because she e will eat through all the buffer, not to mention all these other characters. But her turn one eats through all the buffer just with this elemental wave. So if you're going to go the buffer route, you have to get it in after her turn one and before her turn two, which all these guys are fine and can do it, except for Seahorse is going to come wreck the day. So uh, Lana by herself is super dangerous, but pair her with any sort of other dangerous character and it just it, it it's magnified. Uh, it's it's pretty dangerous, pretty, pretty scary. Um, I think I don't want to talk or belabor this too much. The idea is I could I, I could kill it if I, if I played that team correctly. And if I played another team that doesn't worry about silences as much, Lana doesn't matter because even though Gustav here is going to get silenced and can't dispel anyone or heal anyone, the rest of my team could still power down and kill down, kill the targets if I needed to. So not every team comp is as scared of the same champions. Lana is especially deadly to caster teams and or if your healer does not run a, a, a suite of dispels or buffers that can help mitigate some of her scariness. Uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, if you would like to see more of these, please let me know. I will do a series, I think, on all the champions eventually. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see on those since this is the first video. Uh, did I cover everything you liked? Uh, were there any questions you still had? Uh, this is a fluid format and input is much appreciated. If you like what you see, I also, these videos are free, but I also accept tips. And I will catch you later. Peace. Lana.